By the time he steps into the ring with Frank Martin, it will have been 14 months since he last fought. That fight against Ryan Garcia was arguably Tank's greatest professional achievement yet. This is what you train for, Shorty. Bro, I was nervous. I was nervous. You're gonna feel it right away. Huh? You're gonna feel it right away. I'm a what? You're gonna feel it right away. Well, his brother came in. I mean, he told me, like, you're gonna feel it. I said, what? <laughs> but I heard what he said, though. I kept asking him, like, like what? Like, I was nervous. It's just me seeing him knock out so many people. <laughs> you know, it's like seeing him knock out people in the gym, seeing him knock out people on the clips. I'm like, what the hell? And Garcia putting the pressure on Davis. But he's not patient. He wasn't patient. If he was more patient, maybe he would have caught, he would have landed some of them shots. He just started rushing, rushing, rushing. Being aggressive in a fight is a risky venture, especially when you're facing a masterful counterpuncher. Oh, what a shot! What a missile strike by Davis! To be fair to Garcia's powerful left hook, the fight could have theoretically gone either way, but it sure didn't. The first knockdown happened in the second round, and the decisive body shot came in the seventh. Oh, Garcia forced to take a knee. I mean, when I caught him, he made a little face. When he made, made a little face, I know you hurt. And then he just dropped his knee. Nine, ten. Mama mia! Gervonta Tank Davis just stopped Ryan Garcia. Talk about what you're feeling in that moment. Relieved. 